there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of uh, Argentinian wines in front of me. Uh, one of them is 100% Malbec. One of them is Malbec with uh, Syrah and Cabernet Sauvignon. Both from the same estate, Doña Paula, which is um, Santa Rita's. I was going to say another Chilean company. It was Santa Rita's Argentinian outpost. So the first wine, uh, Doña Paula, uh, and it's just called Paula. Paula Malbec, 2017, from uh, Mendoza. Uh, weighing in at 13.5% alcohol. Uh, let's give this one a whirl. Juicy, ripe uh, red berry, a little bit of um, reduction in there, so it's giving this slight, ever so slight rubbery, is that right? The right term? It feels like the flavours have, uh, have got this uh, sort of closed spiciness that needs to blossom. I've only just pulled the screw cap on, um, so uh, it, it, is, it, it is right out of. Uh, right out of its shell and just woken up going, oh, hello, I'm just coming, just coming round. So I think if I were to pour uh, a few glasses of this out and give it a few minutes just to calm down, uh, that characteristic would go. But behind it, there was a nice wealth of um, juicy, ever so slightly jammy berry fruit. Let's taste it. Yeah, there's a nice spicy, peppery character there. Touch of vanilla and... Um, um, Slight confected edge, but um, very nice, friendly, juicy, uh, gluggable wine. And um, yeah, I could imagine glugging quite a bit of that. Good bistro glug, I call it that. Uh, second wine. Uh, I'm not sure of what you think of the label of this. My wife looked at it and said, oh, it looks, I said, asked her what 1100 means. And she said, well, with that logo, it looks like the spin speed of a washing machine, uh, which I don't think that was the idea of the... Uh, um, of the uh, the people who designed the label, I'm, I'm presuming it's because it's somewhere at 1,100 metres, yes, uh, located from the Los, Alin Los Indios estate, hard to tell in that black writing. Anyway, it's the Doña Paula, 1,100, um, from the uh, San Carlos in the Val de Uco, 2016 vintage, so a year older, and with um, not just Malbec, with Syrah and Cabernet in there. Let's try this. So this is a bit, little bit more laid back, a little bit uh, more relaxed, and um, it doesn't feel like it's going to uh, really, not, I'm not the first one, overpower you with, with fruit intensity, but here uh, it's a little bit more laid back, smoky, touch of oak, but not uh, uh, by any means uh, overpowering. And it's got a little bit more, touch more earthy spice. I don't know whether that's the, the Syrah talking. But um, it smells like more, a bit more grown-up wine. Yeah, what's interesting is it's not a more uh, powerful wine, but it's a, it's got a broader spectrum of flavours. So it's got some of those slightly gushing berries uh, that you got in the in the first one, but there's also this earthy spice, and um, it's still got that slight violet fragrance that the uh, uh, that the, the Paola has had but a uh, touch of black currant in there it's probably the cabernet talking and um a light leafy freshness um it's um it's funny i got a slightly smoky vanilla edge on the first one here uh, the oak imprint is it's almost as if the oak has been used not to add flavor i don't think they were using it purely to add flavor in the first one but here uh, the, 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 the 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 wine's been in a barrel for um, a bit longer and has rounded out and softened and got a little bit more, um, yeah, a little bit more interesting with time. It's a more ambitious wine, it's a taller bottle, so it must be better, uh, but it is better. Uh, but they're both pretty good. And uh, come World Malbec Day, or Malbec World Day, or whichever way around you want to call it, I think it's April the 17th, uh, I'd be very happy to, uh, to be drinking either of those. See you soon.